What's up guys, it's Jacob Viral. Today for another build update on the roof. So I've got a big roof bracing process as y'all seen in previous videos if you haven't watched the other parts before this. Um, now I got completed this morning and last night the second baffle, a uh, half inch baffle as I talked about previous video. Uh, it's not the best looking but the end result's what matters most. But two half inch baffles. The first baffle was glued, no screws. So the roof and the second one, I used three quarter inch screws to screw to it. So that's kind of where it's looking now. So if you were watching the before videos, you can kind of see the difference. And this is the actual final layer that's gonna go in here. So this is the three quarter inch layer from part one you guys saw. So the three quarter inch layer of plywood, and then I had two layers of half inch. So the first two layers of half inch was to try to get it level with the top of my cabin. So you can kind of see if you look across it, it is all the way level now. So it took about, it took two half inch pieces of wood to get to that point. And now we're gonna put the final layer in. I already fit function tested it to make sure it would fit in there. Just wanted to do a video first so you guys can kind of see. So what I did was all, all four layers of my, the top of the roof, I had two layers of half inch, three quarter inch screws I screwed in on the second layer and uh, some glue in between. So I got some wood glue that I used I always use some kind of uh, the tight bond. I always get that at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, but it works really well. And uh, the bond PLX3 for the first layer. So that's how it's looking. And I'm ready to put it in. So the final coat, uh, the hardest part was the front. So normally the front area is the biggest uh, wood chamfer and then I had to cut it kind of at an angle to fit in there. So it's not perfect, but it's definitely going to do better than it was before. And you can see how it's smooth across here. So that final third third layer of uh, three quarter plywood is going to be perfect smoothness. So that's going to add right at a uh, inch and three quarters of depth to the roof. So that could affect my peak resonance as well. Um, less flex. And then you'll see another couple parts on this to finalize it once I get the, this final roof up. So let me know if you have any questions, suggestions. Subscribe if you haven't. Hope I help somebody with this. Give me some suggestions if you have. And the suggestions aren't gonna be for me because I'm doing it as I go with my own process, but these suggestions and questions and stuff could be for other people or even watch as well. But let me know. I'll walk around one more time so y'all can kind of see a gist of what I did on both ends. And then I just used some jacks. Had two jacks here and then I had a third one in the back holding up this overnight. So this stuff sat for about 18 hours to cure before I put the second layer in and then added the second layer of screws and kind of cut it and shaped it in place. So you kind of can't see unless you watch the other videos the process it took to get to this. But I'm gonna tell you, it takes a while. I'm saying this is probably a three to four day thing depending on how you do it. If you do it right, so you allow for your glue and cure time between your layers. And you wanna make sure that it's not gonna fall because there's no screws holding this up. I could have bolted it to the roof, but I didn't want my roof to have any panels or you know any kind of screws bolts thread rod etc anything coming off of the roof so it's clear with no screws so you don't see a single screw up here which is what i wanted sorry if it's a little blurry it's definitely hot but heat here gets into the 90s and it's good for the glue to cure faster but sorry if i move a lot but that's where i'm looking so on the next couple parts, stay tuned for finalizing and finishing up the final touches, getting to where it's almost to play time, and then we'll be able to see the difference in results. So you can kind of compare before and after for decibel output. And of course, just a single 512. I have in here for my build, trying to get a 53 sealed on glass. I think I can do it. Um, and it's gonna be musical, not just a burnt box. So the goal is to be able to play at least 30 Hertz to like 55, 60 Hertz. So at least 25 to 30 Hertz bandwidth but my peak will be a little louder. But there we go. All right, check a vial out. I'll see you on the next update. Thanks for watching.